Oh, I'm so excited. You're here. You made it to day five. And guess what? All you got to do is watch a little bit of the video and I'm going to open up a bonus video for day six. How cool is that? So you got here to day five. Now you're going to get a day six, assuming you did day one through four. Okay, so day five. What are we going to work on today? We're going to do more of an outside clearing, right? First, start with like walking, like just walking outside. So you cleared your house in day number two. Day one, you cleared yourself. So clear yourself, clear your house. Now you're going to be like outside walking. We're just going to be outside to where clear your neighbor's house, right? Just kind of get a vibe and they, oh, Derek's doing my high is good. You know, just walking to clear. Oh, I'm going to clear the neighbor's car. Oh, Derek's doing my high is good. Like you're out, right? And like going to the supermarket, Derek's doing my high is good. We cleared the people, but now let's look, clear some of the you know, produce. You, know, you just do the whole produce. You don't have to go through like, you know, eat, you know, potato and be like a therapist store. There's, uh, you know, don't say, oh, there's therapist store in my house. Just, and you're just tuning up of like, wow, where are there ghosts there? You know, and do the reads of like, oh, and it really good is to do the reads, right? So especially if you have a big apartment building, kind of look, okay, is there one in that row, window, window, window? And you get one, oh, that, and the therapist store in that window, right? Because the apartment behind that window. Uh, so it's like just playing with that of like, oh, because you could get like once you've played with this and you kind of get in the vibe of like, oh, there's something there. There's not something there. Cause it doesn't hurt that. Oh, they're restoring, they're restoring everything. But you're going to get to a point where you're going to be like, you're not feeling, you know, you're like, is there something, you know, is there some, you know, NC disturbance? You have to go through the whole process. And you start feeling like, OK, is there a etheric disturbance, etheric disturbance? And you'd be like, oh, wait a second. There's one. OK, they're restoring my house. Good. Right. Because eventually you won't get, I mean, so you could be walking, you could be running, you eventually get to running. Now, I'm not saying to do this while driving. I personally do while I'm driving, but I'm not saying to do this driving. Absolutely not saying, but when I'm going down the road, you know, sometimes I'll do that of like kind of making sure I'm paying attention. Just be like, oh, is that car? Any etheric, you know, disturbances? And I'll get like, no, no, oh, yes, etheric storm my high is good. No, no, oh, yes, etheric storm my high is good. No, no, oh, etheric storm my high is good. I find it super, super powerful to just, just get you in the present moment. That's the one thing that's super awesome. Not to mention it's giving favor with the angels and this might be a, kind of a little bit of a downtime, you know, if you're not running warp gates on other things, which I tend to be doing because I'm, I'm a little mad scientist. I'm going after this stuff all the time because it is so cool. But that's just one thing to do is like get you in the moment because you're looking out at your world and being like, oh, let's see. Oh, wait a second, is that? Oh, Theric Storm my high good. And then notice it's really cool because then all of a sudden all these um, bugs just showed up <laughs> where it was. It was completely clear, like completely didn't say anything. I did a theory restore and all of a sudden it was like, Brrr. it's so cool. I mean, I want this for you. I want you to do this because you really started seeing like, oh, there's so much going on. So you're like, oh my gosh, theory restore my high is good. Theory restore my high is good. Right. So this is just going to be out. You're just going to get out in the world and just start. You're going to make sure you know what you're doing. Right. You know, if you're walking, you're not going to walk in the street. You're going to pay attention, right? You're not walking out in the street. You're not going to walk in the traffic. If you're driving, you're going to make sure you can do that where you're paying attention to all the traffic laws. You know, otherwise, just don't do it. If you kind of get spacey with this and you're like, you do a theric restore and you're like, this is why I put it on day five. You know, so you know how you respond because if you're driving and you get all woozy, it puts you in a dangerous place. Don't do it. Don't. I'm not saying to do it driving. Absolutely don't do it driving. I just said I've done it driving because... I've done a lot of this and I don't feel it disturbs me driving. But if it could disturb you driving, I'm not saying to do it. So I'm saying do it while you walk, you know, and just walk in the park. It'd be a great time. Going to walk home. I'm going to go on a walk. Also do the therapy store, you know, play in this non-physical world. Tune up your abilities. Be like, okay, oh, therapy store in my house good. Therapy store in my house good. Oh, therapy store in my house good. And just feel it because when you start doing the reads, I mean, you're going to do the reads and you just do the reads based on when you feel it, that's when you get a really big tune-up, you know? And in the beginning, you want to do it all like, okay, I feel something there, Theric Restore, and then you get the feedback. Oh, I feel the change, right? But once you get that good where you're really kind of tuned up of like, oh, there is something, because you're doing, there's nothing there, Theric Restore, and you feel something, like that gives you that unconscious connection where you're like, okay, there was something there. I, I, your unconscious knew, you're just getting your conscious mind to know. So you're like, okay, but when you start dialing in where you're like, okay, there's something, the Theric Restore, my high is good. You can breathe in, but just, you know, sometimes short circuit, short it. You're like, okay, Theric Storm, my high is good. Once you got down, you know what the, your unconscious knows the process, you know, my high is good. Good to add that. You're like, oh wait, Theric Storm, my high is good. Then you really tune up. When you start picking the spots, then you'll feel like this, it's just a whole nother level where <laughs> it gets really dynamic, it gets really awesome. You just tune in your abilities. And then you're also building that ability to talk with your unconscious mind because that's how that's where your abilities are going to come through. It's going to come through your unconscious to you and be like, look, boom, here's your 
amazing ability. So you're doing fantastic. This is, you've done so good to come this way. I'm gonna have a bonus video of what else you can do to really amp it up. But I'm also gonna make a video of do's and don'ts because uh, this is the point where it's really important because now you're not doing the specific things I said. And now you're kind of like out in the world doing a therapy stores. And there's a couple of glitches that I don't want you to run into it. The warp gate is really, really safe, but this is where you also have intention on doing stuff. So I want to give you the do's and don'ts. So make sure if you're going to do this day that you come for the do's and don'ts. It's really, really important. So until we talk again, which should be on the do's and don'ts, have a blessed day or a blessed night. <laughs>